I, uh... I don't want you hanging around your mother anymore. Why not? Well, for starters, she was cheating on me. And for seconds, I'm pretty sure she's spying on my email and my phone. I don't know how she's doing it, but she's getting in there somehow and reading all the, the stuff I'm sending other people here. And, uh, it's just too dangerous. Anything you tell her, she's gonna use as ammo against me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't forbid you from seeing her, but... I just, I don't want you to give her anything personal. Okay. Good boy. Yeah, I don't mean to, to burst your bubble here, but your mother is, uh, she's garbage. She's pure trash, man. You know what I mean? She's, uh, she's a dog. Your mother's a dog. You know, all the girls you know are probably terrible. Well, there's one I uh, kind of like at school. You got a girl at school you like? Why is that? She always smiles at me and gives me a good feeling. Smiles at you, that's nice. Listen, kid. If she's smiling at you and giving you good feelings, she probably just wants, she wants money. She wants money, dude. That's, what, that's how all women are. You haven't seen what I've seen, okay? I've been, uh, you know, I've been in relationships. I've told women I love them. I've been all around the world. I've been to Paris, France. I've been to Thailand. I've been to other countries. You know, these countries where they have beautiful women, I've seen them all, okay? Russian women, as soon as you get off the plane, they're clawing at you. They're crawling all over you. You think if, there was, if you were some Russian schmuck and all you had was some rubles, they'd be all over you? No. No. No, 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 no. no. Listen. American girls, the first thing out of their mouths is money. That's what they say. You say, hey, can I show you the time of day? Can I be a nice guy to you? Can I give you some respect and be a good man for you? And they immediately, ba 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 How much money you got on you? It's twenty. It's uh, sixty dollars an hour. It's one hundred and twenty for a full hour. You know. Here, the girls are just fucking whores, dude. And I'm sorry, but I'm trying to get a message here into your brain so that you don't have to go through the same pain that I went through for so many goddamn years. Thanks. You're welcome. Now, now, now. About this girl. This girl at school. What's her name? Sarah. Sarah. You want this girl to like you, right? You want her to fall in love with you? Yeah. 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 Well, in order to do that, there's only one way. You gotta tap into her senses, man. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta tap into that primal brain. Sense of smell. Stronger than anything. Now, uh, what, uh, you wearing cologne? I wear an Axe body spray. You wear Axe body spray? Yeah. Yeah, Axe body spray, uh... Problem with that is you smell like a blow pop. <laughs> What you want to smell like is something that uh, awakens a woman's senses. Something that grabs her, you know? Grabs her right right by the, the uterus. You know what I'm saying? Baby powder. Baby powder? Mm-hmm. Yeah, baby powder. All women instinctively want children, okay? When you look at any girl, I don't care how old she is, I don't care what she looks like, I don't care well, you know, if she's a lesbian, I don't care if she's a full-blown dyke, okay? They all instinctively want children. Her uterus is hot. If you touch her stomach with your hands, you can fry an egg on that thing. That's why they have such warm stomachs, is because the uterus is cooking. Even when there's nothing in there, it's churning. It wants to be making a baby. You put baby powder on yourself. Lots of it. After showers, after gym, before gym, when you get home from school. All day long, you're smelling like a fresh, fresh diaper. And what this is going to do, girls are going to get one whiff. What's, what's, who is that? Who smells like that? They're going to come crawling over to you, and they're going to want you to, you know, dump one in them. And when you do, you make sure she doesn't know your last name. Okay. Or your real first name. Think of a name that you like. You like that, you like Knight Rider. Call yourself Michael Knight. Tell him your name is Michael Knight. Hi, I'm Michael Knight. Nice to meet you. Can I dump one in you? Yes, of course. You smell like baby powder. Pow! Go get some ice for the champagne. Bye! Bye-bye! Go get some ice for the champagne. You knock on the window, she's outside. <laughs> Women like guys who are prone to violence. And it's important to let them know, on the first date or thereabouts, that you're willing to use violence if you need to. You never hit a girl. Never, ever, ever hit a girl. But, you know, she says something that bothers you. Whap! Just like that. 
real easy. Just let her know, here's your face, here's what I'm gonna do if you bother me. Whap, like that. Let's say you have your feet up on the dashboard of my car, okay? So we're driving along, we're driving along, I look over, you say, um, your dashboard's far, it's not gonna hurt your dashboard, okay? We're driving along, we're driving along. Hey, would you mind taking your feet off my dashboard? It's not gonna hurt your dashboard. Nine times out of ten, she's gonna take her feet off the dashboard. If she doesn't, you pull over, open the door, Bye! Bye bye! Bye! Little walk home. Just your aggressive face about an inch away from hers is gonna let her know that if I don't shut my fucking mouth, I'm gonna get my teeth knocked out. What's she gonna do? Is she gonna go to the cops and tell them you charged at her? What does that even mean? Did he hit you, ma'am? No, he didn't? Sorry, there's nothing we can do. Get the fuck out of here. Dad, you having smoke? Fuck. I know I'm not some superhero dad, you know? I never did the minivan thing, you know, we didn't get you your snack packs and all that. And uh, I wasn't exactly there for a lot of your childhood. But, uh... How would you like me to change your life forever? In what way? Come here, I'm gonna tell you something important. Password, protect your phone and your email. Cause she's gonna go in there. I don't care how clean you think you are. I don't care how much you went, you think you went through there and deleted the messages from your ex-girlfriend. What we do for entertainment, we play video games or we watch the TV. What they do for entertainment, she's laying on bed, eating chocolate, getting fat, going through your email, until she finds the one thing, the one thing, that she's gonna terrorize you with for the rest of your relationship. She's gonna find one message, I don't care, maybe someone complimented you. Who's that? Who's this? Who, who wrote this on your thing? You know, it doesn't matter, she's gonna find something. She's a neurotic mess. So, that's my advice, my tip for the day. Hey, give me five. There we go. Good boy. Take that hat off, by the way. Okay. It's kind of gay. I don't like that. It lets people know something's, you know, wrong with you. Boy Scouts? Like, what is this? You went and climbed a tree? Please. Get you a nice Boston Red Sox hat or something like that. Alright. <coughs> Here's what you gotta do. You gotta treat him a little bit like dirt. Okay? Not too much. Because then they'll, oh, I can't take it. He abuses me. He's abusive. I can't do it anymore. Here we go. I call this turning on the fat switch. Ooh, you look good. That dress is really slimming on you. Okay, they blow a gasket. And you're planting a little tiny, little itty bitty little fat seed. You're the car repair guy. She's bringing it into the shop to you to get fixed up. Oh, oh, please help me. I, I blew a gasket in my brain and now I'm on uh, Lexapro and I can't get enough sleep. Please, just love me. Ooh, love me, love me. You know, <coughs> you could have been black. <coughs> I dated a black girl once. Pretty sure I knocked her up too. They're really fertile. You know, you think you pull out in time, but you didn't. Anyway, I sometimes I think, man, I wonder if the black version of you, my other son, if he could like, uh, if he could rap or something like that, you know? He probably put some words, he probably does, you know, all that jigaboo stuff, that hip hop. He'd probably be like, yo, yo, I got ice, something like that, you know? They sound real cool when they do that. Man. <clears throat> I wonder if my black son's doing football yet. He could probably kick your ass. No offense. Black guys, they're stronger. It's just true. It's just true. You can't, there's nothing you can do about it either. Thanks. No problem. If you were black, you'd probably be like, uh, 
you know, like a football star right now. That would be so cool. You'd be running, you know, you'd have a touchdown, and I'd go to the other parents, and I'd be like, that's my nigga right there, you know? My nigga. And I'd be your motherfucker. Don't worry too much about school or anything like that. Just concentrate on being cool and, like, cool clothes. Okay? Okay?